What's up guys? What is going on? Thank you for joining me for an episode of Tom Clancy's The Division. Today I'm going to be showing you what this recalibration machine does. Now this is a really good thing, but a lot of people either don't know about it, don't understand it, or um, they haven't messed around with it enough to kind of have... So I'm going to give you a basic idea of how it works right now. So this recalibrates your gear, you know, uh, mask, vest, backpack, gloves, holster, and knee pads. Alright, so what this does, let's see, I bought an extra knee pad so I can show you. All right, so you see on the right hand, you see all the effects. So this gives us plus 385 firearms, plus 4% damage to lead, 73% blood resistance, shock resistance, etc., and has one gear mod, mod slot. So if you select it, you see all these things. Okay, so here you can like highlight firearms, and on the right you see all the possibility recalibrations you can get. So this has 385 firearms. The max I can get is 441. So if you're trying to make firearms and you don't need firearms, you're trying to get maybe electronics or stamina, if you re-roll this, you could get up to 4, 441 for either stamina or electronics. Now, it's a real guess though. It's all luck. So you could improve, you could do worse. And once you do it, there's no going back. You're stuck with, and you, I mean, it gets you like three options. So you get to pick the best out of the three. Um, and here's the thing. Once you do it, you can't select anything else, you know. So let's say you recalibrated firearms and you went with 441 stamina. You can no longer change any of these perks. You're stuck with them. All right, so it's a one-time thing for one gear. But, you like, let's say you rolled this and you got 360 stamina, which is the lowest. So you can re-roll that again and get 441 stamina versus the 360. You know, you can keep re-rolling the same thing. The price keeps going up. Alright, so now look, if you go to damage to elites, on the right you see all your options. Those are the possibility things you can get. And it goes from worst, I, I, I guess I could say, the least best, and on the right is the best. So like, so like if you were to recalibrate this, you have to hold A. You could get between 180 armor, which is the worst, or 220 armor. So it's all luck, and it's not guaranteed to be one of those things on the list. I think it's like four of the things, you know. So look at that, you can get bleed resistance, scavenging, you know, you, you should just look through everything, you know, and uh, you should know what you know, like, look, look, so if you don't use the support station healing, it might be smart to try one of, you know, if you use first aid, you know, it'd be good to use the first aid eyelid heal or the pulse critical hit damage, you know, um, try to base it around the perks and powers you use daily. Now, if everything's pretty good, except let's say... You don't care about increased kill XP because you're already at the max XP. Um, you know, figure out what you need. You know, if you're suffering from burn, you know, you think burning is messing up your gameplay because you catch on fire and it takes you too long and it hurts you too much. Make sure to redo that. Um, you can also reroll mod slots. You see that? It'll give you extra health. It'll give you um, pretty much the damage to elites. Um, it can pretty much... A mod slot you know so if it's already a high enough thing and your your powers are balanced so you don't really need a mod slot to make yourself more powerful or you know change the balance of yourself you can give that up and you know give yourself more health more armor um so like that so i'm gonna go ahead and um you know let's let's i don't use the support station healing right so let's actually no let's do the no yeah it, this has the most options so you see there's like eight things you know pretty much every super is on here so let's re-roll that. All right, so here are my options. So 7.5 support station healing speed. That sucks. You see it's the exact same thing as what I just got. Smart cover damage, support station healing, 6.5. So that actually decreased. So you definitely don't want that one. I mean, you know, but let's say you don't like any of these. Just pick a random, random one. Confirm. Because you can't go back. There's no going back. And as you can see, you can't highlight anything else. So the only thing you can re-roll is that support station healing speed, you know. So you can go ahead and re-roll that. Um, pay attention, though. The credits do go up, you know. And um, look at that. Sticky bomb explosion rate. It's cool. I used the sticky bomb. That's fine. Boom. And there we go. Now I have a bonus for a power I actually use. Every time you re-roll it, the money seems to around double. So be careful. I didn't pay attention once, and I ended up wasting like five hundred thousand rerolling something. Um, now you can reroll high end gear, you know, but it takes thirty Phoenix credits, and then it goes up to forty nine. Or it's it's weird how it goes up, but you can reroll your uh, your high end gear. It can also be rerolled. 
Um, you know, so unless you know for sure you're sticking with that gear for the rest of your life, or you know for a good while, because Phoenix credits, you gotta work for them. You know, you wanna, you really, I mean, you know, high end, you really wanna be more, uh, more conscious about just doing whatever you want on them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for future content. I will see you guys on the next one. You have a wonderful day. You, you play, play, play.